Hello everybody, at long last this is my new and improved mailing machine. So, it's standalone, there is a touch screen to drive it. The computer is inside, it will start as soon as I turn on the power, like so. So yeah, it runs on Windows, sorry about that. What can I say? It just works. So, why, why it keeps starting up? This voltmeter is actually a spindle power meter. It's connected to the VFD, which is inside the electrical cabinet. And it shows in real time how much power this draws, uh, which is very nice because tells you your cutting power and if you are going in too deep or too strong. So here we go. Start. Uh, now first thing you do is you're going to activate the drives with a reset. And then you need to home the machine, which is this button. The strokes are uh, 205 mm on Y, 605 mm on X, and something like 160 mm on Z. And there we go, it's home. Um, so now what we can do is go into job mode. Let's select a fast speed so you should be able to read the position on the touch screen if you want to jog another axis you just tap it Let's say I wanted to turn on the spindle without a program running. I can go into uh, machine control. And there it goes. And as you can see, the voltmeter is indicating that it's drawing some power. Um, I mean to change the indication from volts to watts and have a scale that matches what's actually going on here. But for now, it's just good enough. If you get to 10, it means too much power. Simple as that. Um, so let's try to run the program. So I'm going to turn this off, go back here. Um, let's say I wanted to zero the machine on some imaginary part. I'm going to move there. Okay, to zero the axis is very easy. Tap, tap, tap. Here you are. Now that I'm done jogging, and supposedly I'm ready to work, I can just get my G code. Behind the arm, there is a USB free switch, sorry, hub. Um, let's go and open the file, so we go into automatic mode, load, get the tab file, open it, this rows the two paths, I can go into 3D view if I want to, this is a capacity display, I can zoom in, nothing special, if you're used to smartphones. And so let's say I'm ready to machine, well, it's time to hit start. So this was a G code for a very small part, so maybe it's not as showy as you might expect. But 
shows you that it works. That's what matters. And if you're wondering, the emergency stop isn't the, the MPG handler. You might see that the monitor is jerking around a bit, uh, which is to be expected because of the fast accelerations on the, on the machine tool and the big masses involved. Uh, but I think the Airboat One LX arm that I'm using is actually doing a very good job of keeping the display stable. And the nice thing about it is that you can put the display anywhere you want to. So for instance, if I wanted to keep it close to what I'm cutting, just so I can check what's going on, I can Well, uh, yes, that pretty much sums it up. So all that's left to do is uh, maybe turn it off. Uh, that's actually the easy part. So, suppose I wanted to interrupt the program, I can just stop. I rewind if I wanted to do another one, but that's not the case. And uh, I just close the program. And then I can turn it for you. And when it goes into standby mode, I can just remove the power. Well, it took a while to get there, uh, mainly because I do have a life outside of this, but uh, pretty satisfied with it myself. I'll be testing it, uh, cutting some actual metal in a little while. See ya!